Greetings! Welcome back to another Best Buy Canada blog. I am Fear Kaiser Soze. And we are going in this video and on the accompanying blog on the Best Buy Canada website, take a look at a whole bunch of iRig equipment. Um, we've got the iRig micro amp that we are going to look at, the iRig voice microphone, the iRig mic HD2 digital mic, uh, USB or for iOS. Um, I've got the iRig Pro portable audio MIDI interface, the iRig Pro HD digital guitar interface, um, and three iClip stands as well. We've got the iClip Expand Mini, which hooks onto a microphone stand and holds a smartphone. The iClip um, Grip, which is a um, stand multifunction uh, camera smartphone stand and as well the iClip Expand which also hooks onto a microphone stand but it will support a tablet. So we're going to take a look at all of these um, right now so buckle yourselves in and let's see what we've got. Okay so we've got the iRig micro amp. It is a 15 watt battery powered guitar amplifier and it also works as an interface so you can plug it directly into your smartphone, tablet or even your computer. So it comes with um, a couple of cables. We've got the USB cable which is the one that will allow you to hook it up to a PC um, and we've got a lightning cable which is the one that will allow you to hook this up to a um, Apple phone or tablet um, and it also came with six batteries. So you can throw those batteries in there and see what we've got. Okay so obviously small very light um, plastic. It's um, made out of plastic. Uh, it's probably why it's um, at the price point it is. I don't know how. It doesn't feel super breaky, but that would be interesting to see over time how much um, abuse this could take. So I threw six AA batteries um, into the bottom and they came with it. And um, I noticed that there's as well a um, screw mount on the bottom so you could put it on a stand or something like that. Um, it also has, um, if you look at the controls on the top, there is an um, auxiliary in. So um, so I'm looking at this uh, for the first time as well with you. Um, so it's got an aux in so you could um, plug your smartphone audio into it. It's also got a headphone jack so you could do that. Um, and then it's got the, I guess that's a mini USB cable, which would be the opposite end on these cables of the lightning or the USB connector. Um, power button, guitar input, gain, bass, mid, treble, so your equalizers, and a volume control. Um, and there are multiple channels as well. There's a clean channel, a drive channel, and a lead channel. I have no, I legitimately have no idea what this is going to sound like and I'm, I'm excited and scared. This, I don't know, this could go either way. It'll be interesting to see. So, oh, there, what else have we got on the back here? There, oh, there is a power adapter as well, so you could plug it in. Um, and it's got a speaker out so you can connect it to an external speaker. Oh, huh, cool. Lots of little things that you can do with this bad boy. Although, I probably shouldn't call it a bad boy because I don't know yet. So this is on the clean channel. Um, okay, let's try the drive channel. for the mic here.
the Lee Channel. Well, I'm actually, uh, I'm a lot a bit shocked. This is much cooler sounding than I thought it was going to be. Connected to something else. Um, so I opened up Garage Band on my iPhone, and I have the plug in there, and, and you'll hear, I think what's going to happen is... Okay, so we can hear that. When I plug this in, I assume that it is going to not play through here anymore. All oh, these little things are so finicky. Okay, well, we're in. And the USB light came on, and yeah, so we've lost that. So I should have it in here now. Let us see. Well, this is, I imagine, where I would need the headphones in order to actually hear what's in here or what's in here. But we'll just ignore that for now. Um, it functions as an interface. You plug into this, from there into your phone, your tablet, your computer, and then within your DAW, or as I'm doing here with uh, GarageBand, um, that is where you are going to add the effects, do the amp modeling simulation, and things like that. But again, I'll just go back to this. I'm just, I'm still shocked at... <laughs> Yeah, crazy, crazy, crazy. So, the iRig Micro Amp. 15-watt uh, battery-powered guitar amplifier and um, iOS USB audio interface. Um, you can also um, power it up. There is that at the back. You can also run it to an external speaker. Um, very, very crazy. There's a lot of different things you could do with this, and it would be fun to do those things. Hey, this might also be good there for a... For any buskers that are watching this, you know, strap this uh, onto a belt loop or something like that. And, you know, it's not quite a pig nose. It's a little bit bigger, but it sounds a whole lot better. So the iRig Micro Amp. So taking a look at the iRig Mic HD2, a digital microphone for iOS um, or USB. So it's a handheld digital mic. Um, I'm hand holding it right now and uh, the audio that you're listening to provided everything worked properly um, is the audio that this is recording so i just used it um, with the um, plug-in or the cable that came with it plugged it into the bottom of the microphone and plugged it into the lightning jack on my iphone um, i am using uh, i think a voice recorder pro um, and it recognized this right away I hit record and I'm recording and using this this is the first time I have used it first time I've tried it I don't know how it sounds uh, we're going to find that out together um, I suppose I could be finding out how it sounds right now by monitoring it through headphones there is a headphone monitor switch on the front yeah so now look underneath and there is a uh, the what is it the mini um, jack for audio um, one eighth, and that is the headphone monitoring, and you can troll through there. If you take a look at the front of this as well, I guess I'll put a graphic up. Um, it's got a color LED light on the well that, or on the front. There is a color light on the front of this as well that I can look at, and it's giving me real time feedback on where my volume levels are. So blue is nothing and it gets green 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 and then if it gets really then i think i go it goes starts to go red um which is never a good thing you don't want that so you can actually use this um it came as well with a uh microphone clip 
that would go onto a uh, microphone stand. And voila, there you go. Handheld no longer, now supported on the stand. Um, yeah, fun, fun little thing. Uh, really easy to set up, really easy to use. We'll see how it sounds. Um, of course, so mobile recording as I'm doing right now with my phone. So I could imagine if you were, uh, for example, a reporter or a researcher and you're doing interviews or something like that, really quick and easy to just plug it into your phone and you're going to get much better audio than you would if you were recording with the built-in mic on the phone. Um, you can, of course, as well with this, it has a USB as well, um, plug it directly into your computer and record into your DAW with it um, or into another um, like say Adobe Edition, um, use it for doing voiceover, sound over, something like that. Um, it's got a a gain uh, control on the front as well as the headphone control. Um, records in high quality 24 bit 96 uh, kilohertz. Um, and again, it's got the multicolor LED level indicator, headphone line in, line out. And it says as well on here that it will work with um, iRig Recorder, um, which is an app you can get in the App Store. Um, as well as Mic Pack for Vocal Live, another app, um, Mic Room, that app, um, Ableton Live 9 Lite for Mac or PC, as well as with GarageBand. So very versatile, gives you a lot of different options of things that you want to do when, frankly, you just need to record better audio. So the iRig Mic HD2. Okay, taking a look at the iRig voice. I um, already got it on a stand here in front of me. Um, I am uh, recording with it as well. Now, the one thing that makes the iRig voice um, significantly different than the um, uh, mic HD2 that um, I also looked at is the HD2 uh, connection uh, allows you to plug directly into a lightning port. Um, I did do a blog on just the iRig voice a while back, so I'll link that and, and make sure that you check that out as well if you want a very in-depth blog on this. Uh, but the one the one different thing about the, the voice microphone is that it only has um, a mini um, audio plug connection. It does not have a lightning. So... I happen to actually have a mini to lightning adapter, which is what I use to hook this up. And you can, of course, get those um, unless you've got an older phone that has still has the um, mini plug connector. So I just plugged it in and I'm recording and um, the same same rules apply as as the other mic and mics that we will be talking about now where this one really shined and you'll see that on the other video is for you know hooking it up I had it hooked up to a tablet um, and was using a karaoke app and it was really good for that for people that can sing and I can't so it wasn't good for me in fact there's a short clip of how frustrated I am um, not being able to sing and knowing that you were going to hear that and then judge me. So yeah, um, it works with easy voice, uh, sing karaoke, other apps like that. But yeah, definitely check out the other blog um, that I did specifically on the iRig voice. Okay, the iClip Expand. I have uh, taken a look at this in a past blog as well, so make sure that you check that out. Um, but essentially, it's a universal mic stand um, support for tablets. So we have the um, iClip Expand Mini, which is for smartphones, and the Expand, which is for tablets. And as you can see, I've got my mic stand right here. And there you go. There's the uh, tablet supported there. Uh, I have it... Um, I didn't even take it out of the case, um, so it, it even supports uh, that weight. Very easy. Again, you just uh, grab her and you can just pop her out. And there you go. Simple. It's a little pinch clip. And there you go. Works there like that. No problem. No problemo. Uh, you can put it that way or, of course, loosen it up and... Do it portrait, landscape. Um, what are some of the specs that it has on here? So we'll hold devices with screens from 7 inches to 12.9 inches. Um, no need to remove the case, which I didn't do. 
um, rotates for optimal positioning, uh, clamps to poles. Um, it actually, I have one of these as well, and it, and it clamps to a desk um, just by virtue of how much room and how much play you get on the controller. I don't know if it will, for demonstration purposes, clip itself to this table, because the tabletop is a little bit thick, but uh, not quite, no. But it will just clamp on there on, on most regular tables and you tighten it up and there you go. It's, it works that way. So the iClip Expand, put that right there. And the iClip Expand Mini. Get that one out and take a quick look at it. Uh, show this one going together. It will look very similar, I assume, to the uh, large one that I just put together. And that was done by positioning that there, getting that over top, and connecting. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so just like that, you got something happening. Of course, how loose you leave that is how much play you're going to have here. Um, then this just screws into the bottom like this. Put it up on here. And again, so it's a very skinny microphone stand. Um, boom, that this is going on. So this will just go all the way in, but of course it will go on much, much larger. Okay, and phone, Get that out, do not need that. And as we will see how, right here obviously it would spin around, but for these purposes we'll just go pa pong. And there you go. Um, again, you can control portrait, landscape, however you want it. So the iClip Expand and the iClip Expand Mini. Okay, let's take a look at the iClip Grip from IK Multimedia. A multi-function smartphone camera stand. And it says multi-function for a reason because there are multiple functions. Um, here are all of the pieces that come with the um, iClip Grip. Uh, you can see there is a stand and there you go. So it would in fact be a smartphone stand. It's got the um, iClip uh, expandable grip there and simple as screwing that onto here. If you want to do it that way. Um, but there are again multiple functions so you can. Um, use it as, again, this is my, oh, and it's got a Bluetooth as well, so that if you're, you've got it set up somewhere, you can still hit picture. Um, probably going to have to try that in a bit. Uh, what else have we got here? We've got a, what does it say? There's the desktop tripod check, um, a monopod selfie stick. Uh, that's got to be this. I assume this, yeah, there we go. My first time looking at it as it is yours. Just there you go. Um, what are you gonna do? You're gonna put the um, on top. There has to be an adapter for this somehow, somewhere. I assume. What do we got here? There's the adapter for this end. Figuring it out on the fly on the fly and back to here on, on the, the fly. fly there you go now i guess this just becomes the handle hey cool i just figured that out i didn't even read that look at me look at me go i'm a special boy and well let's see and make sure that we get that into the uh should i also record some video on this but I'm pointing the wrong way hey there's my camera hey hey there's my lights hey there's my Simpsons stuff um, let's stop that flip it around oh oh man oh man 
Never fun to look at that. Also lets you see the blue blockers in my lenses. Hey, so there you go. I am using the uh, what, uh, I guess selfie stick, whatever you want to call it. And hello, and yeah, so there you can go. There you can see. Uh, doing it that way, what, what are we gonna, oh, there's all my, well, not all my, but my pop figures that aren't Simpsons related. Lots of wrestling ones, and of course, uh, Rick and Morty. I think Pickle Rick is one of my favorites, as well as um, I have the special Golden Lemmy. Love the Golden Lemmy. Um, okay, so we're able to use it as a monopod slash selfie stick, which is kind of cool. Um, it has a handle. The handle can, of course, collapse. Um, you can use the handle directly itself without the pod part. Um, yeah, I didn't even actually think of that. With this on here, and this I didn't figure out on my own. I just saw the picture on the box. There you go. A little stand like that. Tra-la! Uh, we got that going there, and it says the camera... Tri oh, and so it will adapt into a camera, a uh, regular tripod as well. So it's got a handle stabilizer, a desktop tripod, monopod, selfie stick, tripod adapter, and it includes a Bluetooth shutter, and of course a strap so that you're not dropping things and everything. So the iClip grip, multi-function smartphone camera stand. A lot you can do with this too. I have the iRig HD2 digital guitar interface. So you can see here that I have plugged my guitar into the HD2 um, and then directly out into my iPad and I am in uh, GarageBand. And now the one thing I'm not doing right now is I do not have the headphones uh, put in for monitoring. Um, it shows me getting a signal. I'm assuming it's getting a signal and it will record. I have no idea what it sounds like. I just picked one of the presets that says punk rock and yeah, let's hit record there, get the count in that I can't hear because I'm not monitoring, which I should be. So I don't even know how I'm going to be in time. I'll try to go with the flash. Let's see. So there you go. Simple is as simple does. Uh, so straightforward. In and in. So the iRig HD2 is the perfect and easy way to get your guitar recording into a smartphone or into a tablet or something like that. And you know just like that you've got a little studio all of your own anytime inspiration strikes. Dun -dun -dun, there you go. Riff it out. Um, but of course, I would always suggest monitoring the headphones so you can hear what you're doing. I'm like, I just did right now. And it, I don't know. It's not even because I didn't want to mess up my hair. Because frankly, right? Okay. And here we are taking a look at the last of this batch of IK Multimedia products. This is the iRig Pro IO. Uh, I say the last of this particular batch because there will be another... Um, group of IK Multimedia gear looking. It's it's going to be more specifically podcast focused, whereas this one is, is a little bit all over the place uh, with some, some amazing products. Um, so keep your eye out for the other one, but right now this is the iRig Pro IO, a portable audio MIDI, MIDI interface for iOS. But it also has a USB connection, so you can use it for PC, you can use it with Android's Android devices, you can even uh, use it with your Mac. But since the key here is portability, I'm going to do a demonstration using it with my iPad. Um, just because it's probably easier to demonstrate that than doing it um, specifically on my iPhone, just because of the larger screen and, and whatnot. But this iRig Pro IO powers if you use it with your computer or something like that um, off of your USB bus, but it also takes batteries. So the ultimate in portability allows you to literally stick it in your pocket and take it with you wherever you go. So when inspiration strikes, ba-boom, bada-booey, you can get that thought 
recorded into GarageBand or some other um, recording app on your smartphone or tablet or what have you. You can connect guitars, microphones, keyboards, headphones, uh, and it's got a MIDI in out for all of MIDI gear that you have with you. So yeah, lots of different things that you can do. So let's take a look. Okay, so I have the iRig Pro IO right here. Um, a couple of other extra things about it. It does have a slot, so if you have an adapter, you can use it with a power adapter and do not have to rely on battery power. Um, you can see the jack that it's got at the bottom, so it will take an XLR or a quarter inch. There's your MIDI on the side, and it's also as well got a 48 volt, so you can run a condenser microphone off it if you wanted to as well. Then there is the headphone jack and the volume for the headphones on the side. So let's hook this up. Very simple, I believe. We are just going to plug this into the bottom here. Okay. And then the lightning into the IO Pado. And now all we need to do is plug in a guitar, since that is what I'm going to do to demonstrate this. Okay. Um, plugged in the guitar to the in, turned up the gain, plugged it in here, opened up GarageBand, it automatically says, uh, sensed your input, and again, I'm not wearing my headphones and monitoring it like I'm supposed to, but if you see there is input on it there. Okay, so let's see what we've got. Let's try for a... Um, Uh, let's see what Seattle sound. I'm not going to know again what it sounds like until after we're done, but And well, let's just hit record Okay, so there you go. That was the iRig Pro IO audio and MIDI interface and the entire world of IK multimedia gear that we just took a look at that is designed to help you create, record, store, share your compositions, your music, your ideas with everybody because that's kind of what it's all about. So head into your local Best Buy Canada store, check it out, and hopefully one of those is exactly what you're looking for. Happy shopping.